for having to stop there because we are just getting a big story. Sashikala Natarajan and her family have been booted out of the AIDMK. That's right, the Tamil Nadu minister today has now told us that Sashikala and her family have been out, are being out of the AIDMK. Remember, she's the general secretary and her nephew TTV Dinakran is now facing serious corruption charges. A Tamil Nadu minister has now come on record to say that Sashikala's family is out of the AID. The big story that we are getting now, whether this minister is speaking for himself or for the entire party is what we need to know. What the minister is saying, is he speaking on behalf of the entire party or only on behalf of himself? We want to stand united and we want the symbol to be part of the election uh, commission decision. We want it to be part of the AIADMK, the united AIADMK. For himself or is this the entire party's position? Rajdi, this is about the entire party is what he's been talking about here. And he's saying that they want a united friend put forth and also that through the election commission they want to retrieve the two-leaf symbol. That's what uh, the gentleman is talking right now. He's been telling uh, Rajdi. Okay, so the big announcement and we are getting the big breaking news. We're going to take a break, slip into a quick break and get more news on that. The big story that we are getting at the moment. Sashikala's party will play, play pictures there of Sashikala in a moment. The big story that's coming in from Chennai at the moment. Sashikala Natarajan is reportedly being eased out of the AIDMK as part of an attempt being made to merge the Paneer Selvam and the Palani Sami factions and take control of the AIDMK. It comes only a day after an FIR was filed against her nephew TTV Dinakaran. That's the other big story that's coming in at the moment. The Tamil Nadu minister making that big announcement. The moment OP, O Paneer Selvam, the former chief minister, landing there at the moment. We are being told this is a unanimous decision that has been taken by the cadre of the party. They are saying that Sashikala Natarajan has been eased out of the party. They are saying no one in a sense can take control of the AIDMK. Uh, no family can take control. We want to get our party back. We want our party symbol back. It appears that Sashikala Natarajan, the close aide of Jailalita, her time may be over. She is now possibly out of the party. This remember at a time when she has been in jail and other leaders have also found themselves being under the scanner of enforcement agencies. The big story coming, we are totally ousting Sashikala's family is what Tamil Nadu Minister Jay Kumar is saying. This is the big story that's breaking at the moment. We are ousting Sashikala and her family. Akshaya Nath, my colleague, is joining me at the moment. Akshaya, give us more details of what you're hearing. Well, Rajiv, this is a very tough situation. We have seen how the AIADMK, after the separation, has been uh, in a counter situation where each faction has been making allegations and counter allegations, and they have been losing uh, the flow also in the way. In fact, uh, it is very certainly seen how TTV Dinakaran faction, that is the Sashikla faction, has not been able to bring in the kind of support they were supposed to, and uh, the kind of. Uh, feedback that the people are getting here, the kind of uh, way the voters have been reacting this is one of the factors why this faction has decided on joining and merging hands with O Pani Selvam faction. Secondly, they don't have a proper leadership. When former Chief Minister Jay Jailalitha was there, the kind, uh, the way the people in the state used to look at the party was completely different from how they are perceiving the party and the politicians and their leaders now. And that is one big reason why this merger is happening. Also, the kind of allegation, the corruption allegations against CTV, Dinakrin, Sashikala, all these things and and furthermore, to ensure that this government stays stable for the next four years, this is one important decision that the party has decided to take. Okay, I want to go to T.S. Sudhir, who's joining me at the moment, our uh, consulting editor who tracks the South for us. T.S., is this the end of the road of, for Sashikala or can we now expect a split in the AIDMK yet again, a new twist in the political drama in Tamil Nadu? 
Well, Rajdeep, uh, the ministers who were part of this meeting, about 20 of them, are essentially the group of ministers who are in favor of the Parani Swami and Paneer Selvam camps coming together. But the last word may still not have been said because there are still a group of MLAs who may be able to hold the entire merger process to ransom because they are the people who wouldn't want to be under the leadership of Paneer Selvam. In fact, we heard some of them like Betri Vale, like Selvam, etc., making those noises that Paneer Selvam should first apologize for actually quitting the party before he's actually admitted back to the AIDMK. So if those 20 to 25 MLAs are still loyal to Dinakaran and Shashikala, that may ensure that the government is still a minority government, does not really have the numbers to form a government here in Tamil Nadu. So the last word may not have been said, but certainly today's announcement by these ministers, a very, very big news that they are actually going ahead and taking the step of expelling the entire Shashikala clan, the entire Manargudi family from the AIDMK. So definitely a big blow as far as Dinakaran's political ambitions are concerned. He will now have to see as to how many MLAs will still side by him or they will also start moving towards the faction which they feel is going to form a stable government in Tamil Nadu. I want to go to Padmaja Joshi who is joining me from the newsroom because Padmaja, there have been reports that the centre and the Narendra Modi government and Amit Shah in particular are looking closely at what's happening in Tamil Nadu. Many of them reportedly have reached, or the section of the BJP is keen to reach out to Mr. O. Paneer Selvam. He is their man. They have sent the enforcement agencies after Sashikala and her family members, particularly TTV Dinakaran, and all this is a fallout of that. Is there a sense that the centre also is playing a role in what's happening in Chennai at the moment? That's the strongest buzz right now on the ground, uh, Rajdeep, but uh, the BJP has very categorically denied all of that. And the latest one being, of course, Mr. Venkaya Naidu in the evening said what has happened is the law taking its own course and anything should not be attributed to the BJP. But what is really significant here is the capitulation by the Palani Sami camp, as it was called earlier, the Shashikala camp. Here, all the MLAs have decided, and this is what the finance minister has announced. We are yet to get a formal announcement from the O Pani Selvam camp. You've had Mr. Jay Kumar just about three minutes ago make the announcement that the Carter has unanimously decided that they are going to oust the family from the party because one party's rule within the AIADMK is not something that the Carter wants and which is why the precondition interestingly which had been set by Open East Selvam in the afternoon today that any talks any merger can happen only if Two conditions are met. One is that Shashikala and Dinakaran should be removed from the party. And second, there should be a proper probe into the circumstances under which Jailalata died. And the first one has been accepted by the Palani Sami camp. That's what Mr. Jaikumar has announced right now. Rajdi. Interesting at the moment, but it clearly then means that you could have a completely reconfigured AIDMK. We don't know whether the merger will be total and complete. Later let's let's later. listen in. Announce later. <laughs> it will take time. We'll we have to discuss our party people. All the cadres are there, ministers are there, uh, and uh, MLAs are there, parliament uh, members are there. Everybody we will discuss. Can confirm that there will be no member from the Dinakaram family or Sachikala family? That's uh, that is was that was announced, no? That was announced. That was announced. Sir, no one the no one the the hearing at the moment, what we are hearing at the moment is 20 ministers in Tamil Nadu have announced they want Sashikala and her family out. And they are looking for a merger of the two factions, Paneer Selvam, the former chief minister, with Palani Sami, the present chief minister. Obviously, though, there are that several questions that remain unanswered. That is false case has been filed. Pramod, Pramod Madhav, my colleague, is joining me from Chennai. Pramod, what next? Last night, we thought that we would know in 24 hours how this will unfold. Well, Rajiv, are we now APS. certain that it's the end of the road for Sashikala? Well, Rajib, it seems like we cannot say if it is an end, but we can definitely say it's the beginning of the reign of Manarkudi Mafia losing its grip over AIDMK. We've been standing in front of EPS House for more than three hours now. The ministers were almost walked for uh, 500 meters. It was Jayakumar who led them, the Finance and Fisheries Minister. He has clear-cut said that as per the wish of the cadres, the 1.5 crore cadres, the um, uh, district secretaries and everybody, we have decided to their voice and we
blaming the family of Sashikala. We also asked him, does that mean Sashikala is also removed? He just simply said yes. And with that, they have rang the bell, the death bell, the first death bell for Sashikala's family over here. TTV is not yet to react. Since morning, only two MLAs of TTV faction have spoken against this Jay Kumar and other cabinet ministers. That was Tangam Tamar Chelvan and one more MLA, Vetrivel of Perambur. And over here, we could see uh, that they have made the decision. It just took them three hours to take this decision, Rajiv. So the big decision that you are saying that has been taken at the moment in Chennai is very clear. The ministers are speaking, they say in the name of the Karda. Now this comes 24 hours after an FIR was filed against Mr. Dinakran alleging massive corruption and bribing an election official. And clearly that has triggered off in a sense what we are seeing today. Am I correct, T.S. Sudhir, the fear? Maybe that many other AIDMK ministers have is today TTV Dinakaran, tomorrow it could be them. And that could be one of the re reasons why they have decided to finally abandon Sashikala and family. This is an internal coup in a sense. Absolutely. In fact, the first step was on the day when the income tax rates took place and several incriminating documents were found from the residence of the health minister Vijay Bhaskar, who incidentally is a very close loyalist of the Shashikala family. The Delhi police case against Dinakran really meant that the cases were really coming very home, uh, very close home for comfort. And that's what many ministers felt very nervous, that if they were really going to take on the OPS camp, many central agencies are going to come after them. And that's what really set the cat among the pigeons there was a sense of nervousness that they really need to put their house in order and for that for that the first step would be to get rid of the Shashikala clan that includes Shashikala as the general secretary and Dinakran as the deputy general secretary no one really believed it even in late in the afternoon given the kind of voices that were coming from the Dinakran camp that something like this would happen but obviously the ministers realizing that they need to see the writing on the wall that if they had to go with a combined um, AIDMK. They will have to um, uh, agree to the main condition that has been set by Opanir Salvam that Sashikala and Dinakran will have to be shown the door. Pramod Madhav, does Sashika, do Sashikala and Dinakran still have support among a core group of MLAs that could result in the breaking of, uh, of the AIDMK breaking apart or splitting? Is there a possibility there seeing of a split in the AIDMK as a result of what we are now seeing happening? Is that the next step? Well, Rajiv, the magic number for AIDMK to stay together and be in power is 122. We've been asking this question to Finance Minister Jai Kumar and many people, but personally being on the ground, I could see that the people who were with Earlier with TTV Dinakaran, who were in this close circle, like Sengotai and Tambidurai and a lot other ministers, including uh, Kamaraj. Kamaraj is missing from action here, but Sengotai and he came and met with EPS today morning. And yesterday, Tambidurai met with him. And even Tambidurai has hinted already, as we know, that there is only a misunderstanding between the party. It is a small spat between brothers, and it will be completely solved because they want the party together. And I also have to mention here, Rajdeep. This faction over here holds close to 118 MLAs and they have initiated the merger talk with a faction that is holding 12 MLAs. That is the mathematics that is in the ground which itself clearly shows that who has majority and who has the power in their hand. The question of course is, and you've been saying this uh, uh, T.S. Sudhir for the last few days, that it could take a little while longer before the party actually rallies behind the anti-Sashikala TTV factions, but with every passing hour it appears that Sashikala and TTV are now cornered. In your view, therefore, do you see a merger now of the Palini Sami and EPS factions? And if so, who will be the chief minister? We'll try and come back to T.S. Sudhir on that big question, but Padmaja Joshi, who, who's here in the newsroom, Padmaja, what are you picking up? In terms of who will be the new chief minister, will EPS have to step down? Will there be a third chief minister now? Or will the two factions unite behind O. Panir Selvam? What, how will this merger now take place? 
in fact very interesting details that our entire team on the ground has been getting us through the day here's what has happened the back uh, background story of the negotiations as they happened uh, uh, rajdeep uh, earlier there was opani selvam there was agreement uh, generally on opani selvam being made the chief minister and e palani sami would be given two plum portfolios what really stood in the way of an understanding between the two factions according to sources uh, is that e palani sami changed his mind and did not want the portfolios that were offered to him but right now the contours of what will happen to the government is not yet clear also another interesting detail that is now coming out uh, you know a while ago rajdeep you were asking about whether a few mlas are still going to pledge allegiance to shashikala and ttv dinakaran because they are pretty much the only ones who are left in a faction if you can even call it that 122 mlas have all asked for dinakaran and shashikala to be ousted from the party so a majority of the mlas have now said that they are going to go along with e palani sami and opani selvam shashikala and dinakaran pretty much isolated at this point if they are expecting any support none is forthcoming according to the minister who uh, we heard a while ago and Thank few you. tears i can tell you very few tears will be shed for a sashikala or a dinakaran given the kind of politics that they have been involved in they have been accused of pilfering large amounts of money they have been accused of disproportionate assets they have been accused of creating a parallel malargudi mafia as they are called at the moment so clearly at the moment 122 mlas is what the minister is claiming demanded their ouster is this the end of the manargudi mafia is the question that will be raised ku against sashikala and her family in the aidmk that's the big story that's coming out of tamil nadu at the moment let me take a break and come back in a moment with much more on this big story clearly every day brings a new twist in the tamil nadu pot boiler and this is a pot boiler to beat all pot boilers all it needs some would say is a rajni kant as a last character let's take a break and come back with plenty more in a moment okay i've got c ponayan former minister joining me at the moment so i've been told by my producer not to take a break mr ponayan is this clear now that sashikala and ttv dinakaran be ousted from the party because remember she is still your general secretary he is still a member of your inner circle can you take this decision without them am i to see this as an internal coup by the party no it's not correct what uh, is not correct according to the party bylaw yes only the basic members of the party they amount to about one and a half crores yes they have elected the general secretary general secretary can otherwise uh, never be appointed anybody including the general council so sadigila is not the general secretary of our party they may claim but legally she is not the general secretary of no but party. she was elected she was elected the general secretary of your party are you saying that entire election was a fraud It, it 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 is against the party by law it is illegal our election as the general secretary is absolutely illegal why you accepted the it for the last two months you accepted it for the last two months at least the major let's be clear mr palani sami the chief no, minister no, had accepted sashikala now suddenly you are saying the election was illegal faction kindly listen ops uh, faction of anna dmk which is the true anna dmk as we call Has already removed Jay Sathikala from any all posts in the party. Okay, I appreciate general your joining us. You are calling it an illegal election that Jay, that Sathikala's election as general secretary was illegal in the first place. But remember, that is the stance taken by the O oh, Panir Selvam faction. It was not by the Palani Sami faction. Let me dare go to T S Sudhir at this moment. T S, is it now very clear that this issue has united the O P S and E P S factions? and therefore even though sashikala may not have been party to this decision the fact is even as general secretary now her term is coming to an end she is in jail ttv faces an fir it could be the end of the manargudi mafia 
Absolutely. In fact, the AADMK now stands trifurcated. There is the OPS camp, there is the EPS camp, and of course, there is the Shashikala Dinakaran camp. You know, uh, they still would probably have the support of some MLAs, but the writing pretty much on the wall. And this has been a big twist in the tale. Uh, the OPS and the EPS camp actually deciding to come together. Of course, the formalities of who gets what, who becomes the chief minister, who becomes the general secretary, who becomes the presidium chairman, those kind of formalities, modalities will have to be worked out. But definitely the decision to keep out Shashikala and Dinakran from the AADMK means Edapadi Parni Swami, the strong man from Salem district, has decided to blink first. This was the main condition put forth by Paneer Selvam that under, um, under no circumstances will the merger take place unless and until Shashikala and Dinakran are shown the door. Today, the 20 ministers, the 20 senior ministers have decided that they will have to bite the bullet and throw out the Manargodi family from the from the AIDMK. So in that sense, a big moment. We saw the 7th of February when Paneer Selvam sat on that meditation for 40 minutes at the Amma Samadhi. Today, on the 18th of April, part two of the AIDMK saga has happened, where once again, uh, some kind of a split has taken place. But this time, it is Shashikala, who incidentally was elected by the same people just three months ago in the month of December when they elected her as the interim general secretary. Today the same people are saying that that election was illegal and therefore she needs to be shown the door from the AIDMK. Okay, we'll keep that in mind uh, T.S. Sudhir. Clearly what you're suggesting is that it appears that TTV Dinakaran and Sashikala have been abandoned now by many of their loyalists. Very few now left with the duo. Clearly Sashikala Natarajan who staged a coup of sorts against Paneer Selvam and took over the party about three months ago, now finds that a coup has been staged against her. She could be out. We are told that the decision to oust her was taken in just three hours. Twenty ministers have made that announcement, but we are told at the moment as that inside story comes of the AIDMK's key meet that it's a unanimous decision taken which suggests that a merger between the OPS and EPS factions is on cards. There is also, of course, the question of whether the BJP and the center has been fishing in troubled waters, whether they see this as an opportunity, the BJP in particular, to grow in Tamil Nadu. Our colleague Shalini Lobo is also joining me at this moment. She is outside O Paneer Selvam's residence. Tell me what you are picking up at the moment. I am told OPS has now landed in Chennai. And we are being told that there could be a merger between him and E.P. E. Uh, e. Palani Sami. Give me more details, Shalini. Well, Rajdeep, I'm right now outside the OPS residence today. The whole day I've been here and not so much activity as in the last 20 minutes here. If I show you, lot of cars, lot of OBs, media people, everyone filing outside the Greenways residence of uh, oh, Paneer Selvam's house, everyone waiting to see what he has to say. Well, he made a stand clear. It's Shashikala and Dinakaran out. No one from Shashikala's family to come anywhere close to ruling Tamil Nadu, to governing Tamil Nadu, uh, to taking over party activities. He made that very, very, very clear. And also judicial probe into Jayalalitha's death. And this time the odds seem to be in his favor. Clearly, we saw that he did not have numbers on his side, but now we have 20 people come out, 20 MLAs come out and say, we are with you. Shashikala and Dinakaran is out of the party. Now, this is the scene outside OPS's house at Greensway. A lot of people gathered out here and this activity in just the last 10 minutes landed at the airport, expected to come here. Everyone eagerly waiting to see what he has to say. Also, people from his party, uh, case, uh, from his faction of the AIA, DMK, KC Palni Sami, earlier told me today that we are going to be stern on one demand and that is OPS should be made chief minister. EPS can be deputy CM, yes, but we want OPS to be made. That's interesting. No. You're saying that his faction wants OPS as the chief minister and EPS to be made the deputy. Now, whether that will happen, whether the likes of M. Thambi Durai, remember the senior AIDMK leader and others will accept O Paneer Selvam at this moment, we don't know. Remember, we are told Paneer Selvam is the preferred choice of the BJP and at the center, the BJP also, we are told, fishing in the troubled waters of Tamil Nadu, a state that they have been unable to break in the past, but they would like to use this opportunity, this trouble in the AIDMK to take advantage. The DMK too, 
Remember, they too could see an opportunity here possibly. They would now possibly even move a no confidence move, uh, motion against a government, particularly if the TTV and Sashikala faction can now take away a sufficient number of MLAs.